What's up everybody? This is Cool Dude and today we're back with another chill discussion video. Um today, um I'm all dressed up fancy as you can see. Um don't ask why, because it doesn't really matter for this video. Uh today we're gonna be looking at the Universal Monsters. And of course, what I mean by that is uh the Dracula, Frankenstein, the Mummy, Invisible Man, all those greats. Um and most notably, we're going to be looking at, can the Universal Monsters exist nowadays? And many of you may be thinking, um, what does that mean? Like, what is the question there? Well, basically, what I'm trying to say is, can, it, could it be possible that the Universal Monsters can exist nowadays? Like, can we still make movies about the Universal Monsters? Or are they literally just, you know, fads and whatnot? I mean... This year, we did have the hit of The Invisible Man, surprising hit of The Invisible Man 2020, but then three years, I mean, not three years, dang, it's already been that long, man, time goes fast. Anyway, but literally, um, yeah, like four years ago, we had The Mummy with a Tom Cruise, and that was terrible, atrocious, like one of the worst monster movies ever. So... Could it be possible that the Universal Monsters can only really exist in the 30s, and the 40s, 50s, 60s? Or can we... Are we not doing something right in modern day to bring them back? Well, first of all, it's important to understand that the Universal Monsters came in a very, very early time. Like, it's so hard to believe that in one year, the like, Dracula and Frankenstein is going to be, like, almost a century old. And that's crazy. It came out in 1931, which is insane to think about how much time has gone by about that so you know there were very much um black and white movies so there was not as much gore back in the day um not as much like action as you would think a lot of dialogue and a lot of atmosphere building with dracula and frankenstein and whatnot and which is why many people I don't know why, but many people think that the Creature from the Black Lagoon is kind of the weakest link in the Universal Monsters catalog, because that one came out in the 1960s, which was the time where a lot of the movies were about, like, sci-fi and, like, creatures and aliens and stuff like that. Because we had, like, Ants, and we had, you know, It Came From Outer Space, all those other movies, like, that are all sci-fi based. So, a lot of people think that that's what kind of ruins Creature from the Black Lagoon. I don't think it ruins it. It definitely feels a little off. Like, with that kind of movie, with everything else. I like to think of it as a unique movie. Like, I'm glad that it's a Universal Monster just because it's just so different from the other movies, you know? Like, it's not that gothic horror that we're used to with Dracula Frankenstein or any of those other ones. It's literally just kind of a campy sort of monster flick, so... But anyway, back to the main discussion here. Um, so, based on that, you might be thinking, no, the answer is no. They cannot exist nowadays, but... I mean, I believe that they probably can. It's really just um, a matter of changing the stories themselves. Because, uh, I mean, we had Bram Stoker's Dracula, Dracula Untold. Um, we had um, Van Helsing with um, what's uh, Hugh Jackman, Wolverine. Uh, um, we had all those other movies, all those other monster remakes, and um, they've been, like, all right. They've been all right. That's the main, like, thing I've seen with most of the monster movies, except for The Invisible Man, which I will get to in a second. Um, they just seem to kind of be, like, meh on those. Except for Bram Stoker's Dracula, though. But you get what I mean. Like, most of the times that people have tried to remake the Universal Monsters, they've been like, eh. That is, until recently, The Invisible Man came around, and people were really surprised. Um, I can't say for certain, because I haven't seen the movie yet, but um, <laughs> I'm hoping too soon. I will. Um, at one point, maybe I'll cover for the channel. But anyways, um, The Invisible Man, a lot of people said it was really good, really great. So, what happened? Like, why does so many of those other movies suck? And then people like The Invisible Man, Bram Stoker's Dracula, and all those other ones work so well. Well, I think, number one, it has something to do with how much they kept the spirit of the original. I mean, I've only seen the trailers, The Invisible Man, so don't quote me on this, but it seemed like... It had, like, a modern twist on the classic tale of a mad scientist, a crazy person that you can't see in, like, modern day. Like, how terrifying that would be. So, 
as much as the cl classic Invisible Man with Claude Rains is just iconic and just timeless, something about this new one, I think, people really like the modern twist on the story of the Invisible Man, so... I believe that if we want the Universal Monsters to be around, which I do think is important, because... The Universal Monsters, to me, really helped shape the way horror movies are made now. Like, with atmosphere, and with the monsters, and with, like, all these different elements of terror, suspense, and, you know, all these other elements to it, supernatural stuff, that it has heavy influences on all the other classic horror movies nowadays. So I do think they're important to keep around and to not to necessarily make a lot of movies about, but at the very least keep them remembered. At least have them be like stated in history as like just timeless horror. But um, if they wanna, if we want Universal Monsters to exist nowadays, I think they need to do like what the Invisible Man is doing, what Bram Stoker's Dracula is doing, which is giving it a sort of a modern spin because it, it'd be fun to see these old school monsters like Invisible Man and Creature from the Black Lagoon and whatnot to just have their own sort of modern style nowadays. Well, like, how, how would it look without the angry villagers and the torches and we belong dead and you know what I mean? Just have our own modern little spin on it and I think that would be really fun to see on the screen. So, just to summarize, I think the Universal Monsters, it's, it's, it's complicated because on their own, I don't think they can exist nowadays. It's going to be very hard for people to get interested in that stuff because, you know, new generation. I'm not saying you guys are dumb for not liking it. Your own, you're entitled to your own opinion. I'm not going to hate on you if you hate or dislike, dislike Universe Monsters. What I'm saying is Universe Monsters was a product of its time, which is low budget, you know, um, not that many special effects. And when they do have them, they're pretty bad. Um, and, you know, not that much blood and whatnot. So, based on that, I don't think they can mix this nowadays, but I do think that reimaginings, like modern reimaginings, that not only keep to the spirit of the original, like why it was so terrifying, but also adds their own little modern spin on the whole fear element of it, I believe that the Universal Monsters can exist nowadays, and um, they will always be remembered throughout history, at least I, I hope. And that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this chill discussion. If you did, please leave a like in the com leave a like on this video and let me know in the comments below you know, what are your thoughts about the universal monsters i know probably many of you watching this do not know anything about these movies you probably have never seen them before but at the very least if you have just let me know what you think of them and until next time guys stay cool and i will see y'all in the next video